Hey y'all, what's going on? Redneck Ruff here, and welcome back today to the Pokemon Sun Z Nuzlocke. If you guys left off last time, we completed the trial here on Mount Hakilani. Got two Z crystals for the price of one. And now today, we are going to catch this bus real quick on the way back down to the bottom of the mountain. Maybe. If it'll, if it'll let me, me on the goddamn bus. Yes, I want to ride down. I just had to talk to this guy. I thought he was just a random NPC. Anyway, we are on our way now back to Melee Garden. Also, I'm going to switch around the team here a little bit. I don't want to save yet. I just saved. We're going to put Roomba up front. Haven't seen him yet for a while. Need to be switching up this team composition a little bit more often. The trees are angry at me. They're hostile. I remember that Jimmy Neutron clip someone made. The pizza is aggressive. And all I can think now is the trees are aggressive. I don't know. Team Skull. Yo, 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 hold up, Mr. Kakui. You say you want to make a Pokemon League? You got rocks in your skull? Four turns. Huh? Bring it on, the both of you. I've been researching Pokemon moves, so I'm always ready. Oh, yeah. I'll take you both on in Battle Royal, and I'll, you'll be down with just a Swift and Incinerator, too. You got to beat the man to be the man, boys. Yo, for real? Fine, you asked for it. Get him good, Professor. You numbskull should learn your place. Battle Royal, huh? Nice idea there, Kakui. You could beat down three Pokemon at once, huh? It's Gutsma. The boss has graced us with his presence. Love this beat. The hated boss who beats you down and beats you down and never lets up. Yeah, Big Bad Gutsman is here. The thing is, he's so tall, but he's always hunched over. We have an exciting pal for you tonight. In the opposing corner, the Pokemon Professor Kakui. And in this corner, the boss of Team Skull and the hardest guy around, Gutsma. I'm stepping on my cables all over the place down here on the floor. Give me a second. I don't mean to. Here we are, Kakui. Fellow rejects who never could become captains. We've got all these moldy old traditions in Alola, the Kahunas, the Captains. It's about time we cut out all that silly garbage and make something new for ourselves. Trust me, I get that. Don't get me wrong, though, Kakui. We've got no need for a Pokemon League. After all, everyone already knows who the strongest trainer is on these islands. Don't speak for yourself, Gutsma. It's not like I couldn't become a captain. I chose not to. I had other dreams, see? I wanted to figure out which moves would be strong to be enough to beat Old Hala, and I finally found what I was looking for. The strongest moves you can use are the ones the trainer and their Pokemon choose together in the heat of the moment when it really counts. That's when I knew I had to make a Pokemon League, give everybody a chance to be pushed to the limit with their team and find that perfect move. Well, let's see it, guys. But show me your moves and prove you aren't all just talk. If you really can, that is. Right, Redneck, don't you agree? That's right. So you're one of the kids on his island challenge? You don't look like Hollow's grandson. Well, this here's Redneck. He just moved to Alola recently. Discovery, new experiences, and adventure. He's loving every minute of it. Redneck and his Glissapod can unleash some real powerful moves. <coughs> Choke on my own spit. Ugh. So if you think you're the strongest trainer on these islands, get some why don't you battle him? This move fanatic's getting me all riled up. got a Z-Ring, huh, kid? Why even bother with the Island Challenge? What's the point of it? That's what I want to find out. Hey, you don't even know why you're doing it. Watch closely, Kikui. Someday I'm going to destroy you, but first I'll destroy everything you care about. Want we'll see what destruction looks like? Here it is in human form. It's your boy, Gutsma. I'm going to kick his ass. I'm not even going to use a Z-Move. Challenge by Team Skull Boss Gutsma. 
Hey, he's got a Galissa pod too. I think it's the same levels. But mine's just barely stronger. Let's see what a first impression does. Oh, he's setting up on me. Let's get a leech life off and get him out of here. Bye-bye, Glissapod. What's his other one? Ariados. Sucker punch this bitch. Bell Singer. Better not poison me. Is it bug or is it poison? I think it's poison. Oh well, we're almost down to emergency exit range, but not quite. And there we go. Yeah, we're 8 HP away from that. I ain't gonna switch out. I ain't no bitch. Look at this, Clash of the Titans. Yep, just for fuck's sake, I'm gonna beat him with a struggle bug. Should've went for Sucker Punch. Oh, let's get Nappy in here. I haven't seen him in a while. Shadow Ball, this boy. Oh my god, that mouth. Takes up almost all half of his body. I see. Great work, I guess. Love this beat. Gatsma, what is wrong with you? Now's the time for your vaunted team to let loose and destroy everything. It was Redneck, right? I'll remember you as someone I'll be happy to beat down any time. Don't mess with the boss, yo. You don't want to get him get serious. He couldn't beat me if he was serious to begin with. Team's gonna have to go lick their wounds now. Getting beat by a child just doing his trials. Ooh, redneck, you're one righteous trainer. Ooh, redneck. Those are some nice moves. I can feel my soul shaking. Oh yeah, I almost forgot to give you something super important. Here you go. This is Z crystal for the decidui, the evolution or the rally you chose. All right, and uh, about that mask you got there, Redneck, Ling gave you that, right? I'll take it if you don't mind. I can make sure it gets back to the Master Royal safe and sound. So what happened to Lily? You lose her somewhere? I'm right here. So is he. So is he, Sorolla. And Ham's probably at a Malasada shop somewhere, yeah? You and the Professor fought those terrible Team Skull Thugs, Redneck. Just thinking about it makes me worry. They sound like a scary group. Hey, you think? I don't know. Exchanging a few moves in battle is the quickest way to get to know someone in my book. Well, I'm going to head up Mount Lanakaila. Got to make sure the Pokemon League gets finished and everybody has the chance to find their home perfect move. Keep training hard on your island challenge, Redneck, and one day you'll make it there. I hope. <clears throat> Redneck, be sure you're not pushing yourself too hard. You made it through Sophocles' trial, huh? That's really great. You can take the next trial up past Route 11. Through Tapu Village, you know. If you get lost on your way, you ask a police officer for directions. They're here to serve, right? Now, Lily, you're coming with me to do some shopping. Aw, Lily made a friend. We're gonna go here and heal on back up. There we go, get the balls laid out sorta of right. Just 
need to get those two switched. And we're going to make our way on down Route 11 now. We already know which way that is thanks to the cop earlier. And we're going to get our encounter here right off the bat. Ooh, it is a Trumbeak. I didn't think we were going to get one this... this uh, oh. We already have one. When did we get one before? All right, you know what? There we go. I'm gonna have to go back and take a look through the PC and see what all we've got. I'm curious. Another Trumbeak. And I may want to switch something else out front. I may switch Bob out front. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to switch Bob out front. So, Bob, come here. Let's see what else we got in here. Ooh, Ariados. I can get down with that. And I'm going to go for an Astonish, see if I can get that flinch first turn. Nope, but he did lower my speed. Don't call for help! I will say, if something better showed up, I was going to Oko you. Also, I need to teach Bob leafage. I'll probably do that in between episodes sometime. Get rid of leafage, teach him leaf blade. That was a crit. Won't be here all day. Let's just keep going for those astonished flinches if we can. So let's see here, Ultra Ball, and do what we can. Nope. Nightshade. Glad I'm not a ghost type yet. Shadow Sneak. Damn. And let's try another. Two. Three. Got 670 experience points for that. Oh my god, Starsky's evolving! Yay! I love watching this, especially with the new uh, evolution animation for Gen 7. Got ourselves a Talon Flame. And let's see here. Its favorite foods are Wingull and Pecky Peck. Okay then. It attacks with a powerful kick and grasps them firmly in its talons. Damn. 
Narinos' data will be added to Pokedex, too. That's the first I've gotten two Pokedex entries in one battle like that. There are some areas where people use the string Ariado spins for their own weaving. The resulting cloth is popular for its strength. What are we gonna name you? Goliath, because of the Goliath spiders. That doesn't show me what's in the PC when I do that, does it? I want to go back and check real quick, see what all we got in the power in the PC slot. Also heal up real quick. And yeah, Fire Burbs, a little bit too high level now. Let's see here. Got Meowth, Young Goose, Cutie Fly, Cottony, Diglett, Wingull, Wishy Washy, Trumbeak, Cubone, Monica, Psyduck. Oh, Psyduck would have been dupes earlier anyway. Shit! Lillipup, Tauros, Femantis, Zubat, Love Disc, Phantom, Chinchou, Staryu, Ariados, Firo, Pancham, and Grimer. I'm gonna call Mulligan because I didn't notice that it was dupes earlier. And I'm an idiot. I'm calling a Mulligan, and we're going back to Melee Garden. Another Ariados. You know what? I'm actually going to look up on Cerebi real quick also while I do this. I'll fight this thing just for the experience. Let's see, region characters, the Alola region. We want to look up Melee Garden. Pokemon su Sun at night. We can get Masquerain, Poliwag, or Cottony. So there are other things here. I don't think I encountered any of those earlier. We've already got a Meowth. Might just have to fish for the Poliwag, though. I know there's a fishing spot right here. Hopefully it's not a Psyduck again. I called the Mulligan. This is my encounter, so long as I've never caught one, and I, I haven't. Let's just try it and see. See, I didn't look at the fishing. I just looked at the grass stuff. Weather triggered SOS battles. All those different things. So, fishing, we could have gotten Magikarp or Goldeen, which can then SOS Gyarados or Sea King, respectively. I'm gonna peck you. I did way too much. 
I thought I was dead. There we go, though. That's a potential Gyarados added to the uh, group. And I'm going to name him the same thing I always name my Magikarp. Because Magikarp is my favorite Pokemon all time. Let's get this Dex entry first. Although weak and helpless, this Pokemon is incredibly fertile. They exist in such multitudes you'll soon grow tired of seeing them. I never get tired of seeing Magikarp, okay? I don't know who the fuck you're talking to. And it is Mel. Mr. Fish. That's what I always name him. I can't wait for the Gen 4 remake, so if you're hyped for the Gen 4 remakes, be sure to leave a like on that video down below. Because everybody's always hyped for Gen 4 remakes. Hashtag Sinnoh confirmed. Let's get on out of here. Hiker didn't want to battle me, okay. Oh, there's a TM. I have to go up around the other side, though, to get it, damn. Oh, we could have had a Faticate, but that would have been, uh, no, it wouldn't have been a species, because we don't have an Alolan Rattata. Crunch. Now we got away. And I'm guessing barricades up here. Sino wants to talk to you. You've collected 10% so far. So that means we can get our Zygarde. Greetings, trial goer. Let me check your collection of Z crystals. Oh, look at that blinding yellow Electrium Z. I guess I'll have to open the gate for you. Well, you face up ahead is the ghost type trial. I hope you enjoy it. Oh, this is Route 12, is it? So that means another new encounter. Well met, I was seeking you. If you're going to travel about Ula Ula, you have to do it while astride of Mudsdale. There's no call for hesitation. Consider it thanks for the call of island. Whatever. And then Mudsdale just walks away. You know I'm gonna be riding you here in five seconds, right? See? A burn heal. But nobody made a joke at my at my extent. And our counter for Route 12 is gonna be. Oh, Torkoal. Not what I was expecting. But I'll take it. Which means, Bob, you're getting the fuck back in your ball. Hey, you're definitely getting back in your ball now. Sending Geode against this monster. Sandstream in the middle while the sun's out in the middle of the night. Yeah, Bob would have been dead. No, 
I'll just go for an Ultra Ball then. Because I know I got nothing to damage this thing with. I'm going to get the Triple Jiggle. And it broke out. As soon as I said it. Hopefully a return doesn't kill it then. It's got pretty high defense, I think. Yeah, I live to return. That's max friendship. I would hope it's max friendship, Geode. Oh, crit capture. Heard that whistle. Bob grew to level 34. And Bob is evolving also this episode. It's two evolutions in one episode. How bad how much how much better can you get, right? There we go, got a decidui. There we go. Look at them legs. Ah, oh, diggity, look at you. You're on fire, partner. It fires arrow quills from its wings with such precision they can pierce a pebble at distances over 100 yards. Damn. Sounds like me during hunting season. Wants to learn Spirit Shackle? Yes, we will learn that. We're going to get rid of the story. Excuse me. Just spit all over my DS screen, why don't I? There we go. Now I can give him a Z crystal too. And we got Torkoal registered to the Pokedex. Coal is the source of Torkoal's energy. Large amounts of coal can be found in the mountains where they live. So, West Virginia, then. I'm going to name you Miner just for that. God damn it. Could have had an Alolan Geodude. And we're gonna give this. Yeah, I couldn't see him at the top air underneath of it. Holding the heartstone, we're gonna give him the Rocky and Z, though. There we go. Got Z moves for days on our team. Squeeze through that gap on my own. Thank you very much. There's a billboard over here. Wonder what it says. Another Geo dude. Yawn, Bob, you can do it. Let's see how much the leafage does. Sturdy. Right. Except he's at 1 HP calling for help, so it's probably going to be bad. Another Geodude appeared. Uh, 
Oh, yeah, a little island scan. I forgot about that. I really want to do that, but I can't because this is a Nuzlocke. Let's go ahead and get our counter for Blush Mountain here real quick. And it's a Lolan Geodude. What's good, my dude? Hopefully you're sturdy. Otherwise, you ain't living this. Actually, you'd live that a lot better than I thought you would. Send up the Stealth Rocks. He's a VGC player. I'm just going to go for Great Balls on this one. Get some water. Because remember, you got to stay hydrated. Especially when you're playing for long periods of time. So that got us, what, three encounters this episode and two evolutions? I'd say this is a good episode. Even if we didn't quite make it all the way to uh, Tapu Village. Its body is a magnetic stone. Iron and sand attaches firmly to the portions of its body that are part particularly magnetic. What am I going to name you? Subtle, but nice. There we go. And that's where we're going to wrap it up this episode, guys. Next time, we're going to continue on out Route 12 to the Tapu Village and take on the next trial. Remember, save your data, because only you can prevent loss save data. So until next time, guys, I'm Redneck Ruff. Get her done.